Okay. Producer's video blog. We're on day seven at the moment. It's going well. It's going really well. We've got some some fantastic footage. Yesterday, day six, we did a massive fight sequence between Dylan and the bounty hunter played by Rami Hilmi, uh, known as Quaid. Um, and that went really well. We were in um, a forest where there was like sand dunes and stuff like that, which looked pretty amazing. Like visually, it looked great, and Jason was really happy because it suited the vision that he was going for. Um, and obviously, working with Rami is great because he's, you know, he's, he's he knows fight sequences really well, and it's easy to work with him and stuff. So we choreographed this amazingly intense fight sequence and chase, really, because we wanted it to be like five minutes going from the shack to the forest to be completely intense non-stop like movement you know to keep the audience on the edge of their seat all the time um, and we did a quick rough cut of that to see how that looked and it looks amazing there's a good there's a good flow and pace to to the scene so that works really well um, but going back to what we did you know what we've done so far um, Day one, we obviously we we started off a bit slower, and we did scenes between Dylan and Stacy, um, you know, them kind of getting to know each other. So we got, we got to know the characters a bit better, which was which was fun because it, it gave myself and Leanne Robertson playing um, Stacy a chance to to kind of develop the characters and know how the relationship is going to work between them, um, which was really nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, for me, it's been it's been an amazing experience, man. I'm so happy with with everything I've done so far um, there's been a few little um, behind the scenes issues as always with these films but that's what I'll rant about that as a producer not an actor but as an actor I've really enjoyed <coughs> the whole process of um, you know the way Jason's sprung stuff on us because as an actor that's why, where I like to work I like to work with surprise and and he's really kept surprises always happening, like finding the dictaphone with the message on there. I knew there was going to be a message, but I didn't know what the message was going to be. <clears throat> and it kind of created a whole backstory for the zombie outbreak that we didn't know it was going to go in that direction, which, as an actor, for me personally, helped me a lot to kind of help me vision what was actually happening within the story that I wasn't personally connected to. So I think he did an amazing job there. <clears throat> And the whole Nazi emblems on the wall and the, the kind of dark scariness of that place. But that we were trapped in because we couldn't leave because we thought we were going to be attacked from outside zombies and, and stuff. So that was really good. So talking as the producer, it's been a bit of a it's been a bit of a nightmare really putting this film together. But it always seems to be with mine my, my and Jason's films because we're so bloody ambitious with what we do. And people don't realise that making a feature film in such a short space of time with, with such short funds is near on impossible. But we still managed to do it and managed to create a kind of quality. But I think the way Jason's cast this film has been really well, uh, you know, really well cast because each person has brought their own to each character. Um, you know, I think Leanne's done a good job so far with, with Stacey. Max has brought a certain different quality to to the character of um, of Michael Gallagher, which I thought, you know, speaking to Jason before it kind of the character changed a little bit, which was really cool. Um, so he brought his own to it. Rami Hilmi obviously is always a pleasure to work with, um, and always really diverse as an actor. So every every time you see him, it's going to be something different, which is amazing for me to work with. Who else? Yeah, we've got Leon, our crazy director, playing a Nazi, which makes sense really, but. Yeah, he was amazing in that, actually. I think um, he did a really good job because he, he brought a different dynamic because he's a character that's not in the film all the time, but he's pushing the story forward all the time, which is really nice. So each character within this film has has an importance, really, has their own kind of importance within the film. I'm really, really looking forward to working with Eileen Daly. That's probably, you know, she, I've been a big fan of hers for a long while, so... So I'm really looking forward to working with her because she's such a professional, professional person. Hi, everyone. Hi, and good afternoon to everyone today. Today is day seven of filming as far as I know. Am I right? Yeah. Right, now we are in the, so the next set, basically, um, Quaid Hess office, where we, today is he's looking at the picture after he's taken them and uh, sort of sneaking on the character of Dylan and Stacy. 
and um, it's just basically about time to uh, get an arrangement with uh, her husband Michael to get the money obviously for the pictures he's been taken so that's gonna look gonna be looking nice scene and stuff and see how it goes and here we go got a nice rifle right here goes with my costume as you can see wearing brown dark brown light brown light and dark brown give that western look to the character it looks well this is what we're going to be shooting zombies with as well later. Um, well, today being the seventh filming day, mm -hmm. um, today we're concentrating more on the little character developments of Quaid. Um, but Jason's got some fantastic ideas to introduce the character and to get to know the character before we actually see him, you know, interacting with other characters within the film. So here's the man in question now. Look, he's just walked through the door. What are those? Continuity. Oh, Jace, can you talk about what's on your arm at the moment? Yeah. What's that? There's my Nazi tattoo because I'm a neo Nazi. I've also got one on the chest. 